Hello there, I've really been enjoying the Obsidian note-taking app on Linux and Windows 10 for the last couple of months. And in the last week or so, I have been using the Obsidian mobile version on my iPad and iPhone. And I'm going to explore some different ways in which you can use the some capabilities of that device and of mobile in general in order to get the best possible use out of that app. So, um, one question that I have seen since uh, starting to read Sonka Aaron's uh, How to Take Smart Notes is what is best for uh, daily fleeting notes, the sorts of disposable notes that you take every day uh, to process later on to turn into uh, literature and permanent notes later on in Obsidian. I'm reading Sonka Aaron's book at the moment and I'm just going to read out this quote here because he's basically saying that it's really, really good to take handwritten notes and rewrite material in your own words in order to help you understand it at a deeper level. So this is what he says, right, handwriting makes pure copying impossible but instead facilitates the translation of what is said or written into one's own words. The students who typed into their laptops were much quicker, they're talking about students who like type notes in uh, lecture, the lecture halls, which enabled them to copy the lecture note more closely but circumvented actual understanding. According to Sonka Aaron's, it is it's better to, to handwrite your notes. Uh, because you're kind of more selective, you're thinking more intentionally about what you're doing. Um, but on the other hand, I listened to the All in the Mind podcast recently, which reflected a couple of studies. So uh, there was a study from 2014, and that was revisited recently. So one from um, 2014 was saying the pen is mightier than the laptop. And they were saying that that confirmed what Sonka Ahrens was saying, that if you handwrite your notes, you've got much better understanding and recall um, than if you um, type your notes. But what this um, recent study that I've put a link in here from um, psychologicalscience.org is actually there's no meaningful difference between typing out your notes and handwriting your notes. Now, how is this important in terms of how we can use uh, Obsidian on our iPad and um, in a way that actually gets the best of both worlds. So this is what I'm gonna explore in the video today. So the basic idea is on an iPad, you can have handwritten notes that can be converted into text very, very easily. And then, so you've got all the benefits of handwriting your notes, of that tactile feeling of looking at your handwriting, yet, you can process it and turn it into text. So you've got all the capability of being able to search and process and copy and paste, all of those benefits you can do, but you've handwritten it. And I think that's amazing. And I think that's a real strength of using Obsidian on an iPad. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out of my presentation app. I'm just gonna write a quick note in my notes app and I'm gonna copy its text and I'm gonna put it into Obsidian and just show you how helpful and how useful and how enjoyable it is to work in that way. Okay, so my main use case for using Obsidian at the moment is I take daily journal notes. Um, I also take notes of things that I read and listen to as well, uh, probably not so diligently as that, but um, I am gonna go into my notes app. So I've got a blank note here and I am just going to just take a very, very brief note. It's, the content is going to be banal because I don't particularly want to share what the notes that I would actually take are. So let's say I'm, so I'm using my Apple Pencil here. Um, and to make it easier to write my Apple Pencil, I've put a silicon tip on top. So it makes it feel quite nice as I'm writing. So I'm just going to journal 2021. Five. Uh. Okay, so that's an example of something I would have handwritten. 
Now, what you can do in Apple Notes, that's brilliant, and this is not just confined to Obsidian. In general, using Apple Notes as a word processor is fantastic. I'll just put my pen and my finger down on, on here and click on copy as text. Then I am going to open up Obsidian. I am going to make a new note. Uh, I'm using a, a Bluetooth keyboard for this. And there it's copied and pasted it into my Obsidian Vault as a new note. There we have it. A couple of issues I had when I write a lot of text I am using a beta version of iPad OS 14.6 and I find sometimes I have problems copying the text. I did because I've got the same Obsidian Vault on my iPad and I've got an iPad Pro 11 2020 version and I've also got an iPhone 12. Um, the same vault is copied across both devices. So I noticed that when I open up notes in my iPhone, and I just use the, I'm just gonna go back to notes. I'm just gonna shake because the principle is just the same. I'm recording this on my iPad. If I go into uh, the lasso tool, and select it that way, and then do copy as text that way, that, that seemed to get around that particular bug. Um, also, I, was, I found that selecting text, copy as text on the iPhone seemed to be more reliable than on the iPad. But I think that is a consequence of using a beta. And I think that this workflow is totally sound. If you like handwritten notes, but like all the benefits of text that can be used in other applications, and in this case, Obsidian. That's all for today. If you like what I'm doing, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back um, next week some point with a video on some other ways in which I use Obsidian on my devices. Okay, bye for now. Enjoy your weekend.